Look, I don't therapize for free. Make an appointment and come with money, motherfucker. I'm back with another drunk reaction, and today I'm drinking Fireball as I offer them. And today, I'm getting back into some more Sopranos. You may notice, my little buddy here, <laughs> he is foreshadowing my 24-hour Halloween marathon that starts one minute into the witching hour Friday night. So basically, all day, all 24 hours on Saturday, there's going to be a marathon. Every hour at the top of every hour, there's going to be another reaction video of some kind. In the middle of that, it's going to be a six-episode uh, Season 1 Walking Dead mini-marathon. And there's actually going to be two bonus episodes of Sopranos, because I did the math, finally. You'll notice from my last episode last week, um, I actually sat down and did the fucking math, and I'm fucked. <laughs> if I think I'm going to have... I want to be completely done with the series before the prequel movie comes out, March 22nd. I'm fucked if I'm doing two a week. So I'm going to have to find a way to slip in some extra fucking episodes here and there, right? You know, So I've got the Halloween marathon. I've got the Thanksgiving Day marathon. I've got the Christmas marathon. I might do a New Year's Eve marathon. Like, that would be fucking nuts because these take so much time to prepare because you're doing... Basically, you're doing 20 extra videos a month. That's a lot of fucking work. But I love the, I love the concept. Nobody else does it. You know, and I always love doing shit that nobody else is doing. I watch a lot of reaction channels. I've never seen anybody do anything like this. So... We'll see what happens. But point being, like, uh, Sopranos is going to be heavily uh, involved in each one of those marathons. So hopefully that'll get me closer. That'd be like a full extra season, you know, that I slipped in there beyond my two per week. We'll see how it goes. But uh, anyway, as far as today, um, be doing two episodes and there'll be two more on Saturday during the Halloween marathon. So look out for that. Without further ado, let's get into episode four. He's got a nice place. The comments told me that his uncle's uh, official name is Junior, so I'm going to start doing that, Junior. Any of these, like, anytime you can help me out with, like, in the comments like that, that's super fucking helpful. There's just so many shows for me to keep track of. That shit like that sticks out in my mind, you know? You going to say something or what? Why has he got that look on his face? It's your time. Why does she have that look on her face? This is a fucking dream. You ain't going to treat me like this. What's he doing here? This is a fucking dream. Clearly dealing with some trauma here. <laughs> oh, yeah? This is very disturbing. It's going to turn out to be his mom or some shit. It's rain. There's a storm coming. That's not a cliche on genre what shows. What the hell are you doing to me? <laughs> I fucking do it. I fucking do it. <laughs> I love how casual they are with this motherfucker's infidelity. Like, they never make a big deal of it. It's just there, constantly, 24-7, you know? That's cool. Speak, motherfucker! <laughs> Jesus, he asked you a fucking uh, question? Hey, Tony! Or maybe he's in the trash can. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Ow! Nobody that likes a smart ass. I heard the nurse say you made number two and you can't. Oh my god. Dude, the he car. took an ass with me. Look, I've never had my ass be so bad I shit my pants, but I wouldn't be ashamed if I did. You just took a fucking ass whipping, man. If you shit in your pants, you shit in whatever happens, happens, right? Whatever happens during ass whipping fucking happens, man. Like, come on, dude. Jesus. That ain't no masculine thing. Men's sphincter is tighter than women's. I mean, that don't mean shit, man. See, now he knows it's not Tony. <laughs> now you know who it was, motherfucker. You stepped out. You stepped out and you got your hand slapped. Take that, bitch. And children fight like fucking pussies, man. What's all this fucking uh, wrestling shit, man? Knock his fucking face off. What's this wrestling bullshit? One of the things we used to do in my school was, uh, if you're going to fight, you take your shirt off. That was a universal thing. You take your fucking shirt, because you didn't want to tear up your shirt. We were poor, right? We had like three good shirts. So you take your fucking shirt off, and that was a signal, it's time to go. So if a dude starts taking his shirt off, you'd be like, man, man, I didn't mean that, I'm sorry. And then that would be it, right? That's how you kind of signal to each other, shit's about to go down, right? <laughs> you need that intermediary area, a way to, like, you, if the person wants to, they can pull back. And it worked several times. I got out of several fights that way. 
I'd be like, all right, motherfucker. And I'd be like, no, 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 I didn't mean that. And the other way around, if I didn't want to fight him, that would be my signal, okay, we ain't going to fight. I don't fucking get it. Just my being here incriminates me. Somebody sees me, they tell somebody else, all of a sudden I'm a celebrity. I thought we made some progress on your narcissism. Yeah, you ain't making no progress on no narcissism. Who are you? You told your old man, didn't you? Oh my God, you scared me to death. What happened to you? This is me and Adriana moving to Florida because some crankhead puke couldn't keep her mouth shut. What are you talking about? Seriously, if I didn't say anything about me. Get us out of here. Get us out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. What did you tell your old man? Talk about narcissism. Nothing you been, you asshole. I'm sorry if I hurt you. I yeah, you, you will be sorry. In a soprano. You will hey. be sorry. Tony finds out. I got in a fight. Well, I hope it was worth it. Hope you did as much damage to his wardrobe. <laughs> Mother asked my own I heart. I wasn't expecting that from her. Giuliani. Maybe we should just stick to the field trip. Mothers throwing their babies out of skyscraper windows. Ain't nobody throwing, throwing no the fucking babies, babies out of windows. windows. Look, somebody in the comments told me she didn't have dementia. Show me, motherfucker. Show me she doesn't have dementia. Because nice I'm saying dementia. Walking around. You're just pissing it all down the drain. A beautiful language for your mother. <laughs> you better sp speak to your mother with respect, motherfucker. Uh, well, that didn't really work, did it? I could have used any other word than motherfucker. Don't and that would have been fine. But... I don't care. Hateful, man. There's so many people on the show are hateful. <laughs> Hey, you left one on the table, you fucking Bye -bye, slob. Okay. Jennifer Melfi, MD. Yeah, her background, daily routine. And your personal relationship with her is... Uh, uh, none of your fucking business. <laughs> you can't blame a guy for trying. Are you bored with your life? Oh, yeah, sure. He doesn't want anybody to know, so he plays a big red fucking target on her. Boy, this is some dumb shit. A year income. Guaranteed this comes back to honey, man. I don't want to bother Dumbass. I'm at the World Trade Center. Well, you don't want to be at the World Trade Center in a couple what years, you buddy. Doing? Your fucking uncle's pissing on your head. What do you expect me to do? Come hey, on. here in public, really? I know where Mikey Town is over by Brooklyn. You guys need church like on Sons no. of Anarchy. A quiet place to do your conversations. You break neck. How you doing, Mike? How you doing? Oh, shit. What's up? That's what I'm talking about. Sometimes you gotta educate. Look, your suit's wrinkled. Let me fix it up for you. <laughs> 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 what a dick. Now he's gonna go kick this motherfucker's ass. What's up, bitch? Boy, he's about to whip your ass, man. Your business. He's gonna beat the tar out of you. Your friends, Talk about his mother again. Put your mother's they name in his mouth again. The truck that was made good. I show you my hand. And you slap it away. How about I shove your hand up your ass, bitch? Next time you come in, you come heavy or not at all. Boy, I'd have to beat his ass, man. I don't give a fuck if he's old or not. You don't mean that. <laughs> Junior ain't long for this world, man. He's talking cash shit. But see, that's the thing. Old buffers can talk cash shit. They ain't got no time left anyway, right? You crossed the double line. Have you been drinking, sir? We had wine with dinner. Oh shit! See, I'm paranoid. But shit. If I if any kind of alcohol touches my lips, I don't drive. I don't know. I I think there's a certain amount of hours, or you have like one drink, you have a certain amount of time, you're okay. I don't know. It's like for me, it's a day. Like I gotta have a sleep and then get up in the morning before I would drive. You know, just ain't doing it, man. You resisting arrest? Oh shit! Oh shit! Hey. Oh. God damn, man! Fucking... God damn, man! We'll see He's beating within an inch of the law. Holy shit! What do you got on Friday's games? I got three bills on record. That'll solve all your problems. Man, you bet on records. You really are a fucking degenerate. Jesus. Even records back then, you were a fucking degenerate. Number one, I love the man. Number two, he's got New York behind it. Not for anything. God bless you, Uncle. He's living in the wrong century. And New York knows it. You want a tea? You'll get there, okay? It's the right thing. It's inevitable. I don't want no disturbance. There's going to be a disturbance. It'd be very disturbing when you bounce his head off the fucking pavement. You got any DDT back there? Oh, that stuff's legal. It's been banned. You're going to go surplus in the back. You go, you look, 
I'm your back there. There ain't no Look, surplus. By 1999, that should have been banned yeah. for like 15, 20 years. Right? Did Anthony mention anything to you? I'll have uh, Carmelo call Joni. We'll get together. Linda. Linda. What? Joni. <laughs> that's great. Tony, that's great. Yeah, you better not say no, I'll motherfucker. <laughs> he, he's not all nervous about that accent shit. <laughs> and that didn't happen, what you said. Again, he's all embarrassed about shit in his pants. Thing is, okay, so I shit in my pants, right? Anybody who brings that up to me, they're going to be shitting in their pants. That's how you nip that shit in the butt. About two people be shitting in their pants. It's like, okay, ain't nobody bringing that up to him no more. <laughs> you know? Here. Of course, if I was him, I'd deduct like five bucks for the M80. Take it. I'll fight you for it. <laughs> Oh, his dad is making him do this. Just take it. His dad, man. Okay, I, I, I was a little slow on the uptake. I get it now. Oh, shit, man. I thought they were going to do more with him. He's actually a famous actor. Maybe that's why they didn't do more. Because, man, it, that dude's worth too much. A great man. A great leader. A great friend. A Jackie. What on, anyway? Bon -on. Bon -on, uh, whatever you said. I had to put my tail between my legs. This ain't negotiation this time. Part, he, this he is has no face, ability to uh, pick up on social cues. Shut friend. the fuck up! Always with the scenarios. You don't do something, I got to question your leadership. Holy shit. Dude. You're a grateful little fuck. Would you get the ball to question my leadership? Huh? Ah, I'm just saying how it is. Rip your fucking head off and finish the job. He really is one dumb son of a bitch, man. He is the dumbest of sons of bitches. Everybody in that room told him to shut the fuck up, and he just wouldn't do it. He's going in her strap this time, boy. Beat this old man's ass. That's why I wanted to be you, Uncle Joe. That's right. Stroke his ego. Give him the illusion he's in control. Uh, you know the world. Shouldn't be having your shoes on in the house anyway, motherfucker. Okay. Why do we call him uncle when he's not even related? He's in dad's other family. You ever watch Godfather yeah. Kid? I mean, do we really have to walk you through this? I guess every uh, when there's more than one kid in these kind of families, they have this conversation at some point. I'll print it out for you. Boy, well, websites really have changed. This kind of reminds me of uh, uh, the Ozarks, the way the you know the kids started finding out and started doing research and shit. You know, on better websites. All of a sudden, I started shaking uncontrollably. The lady says, "Next." Look, I don't therapize for free. Make an appointment and come with money, motherfucker. Hey, I hate to admit this. I'm afraid to go outside. Aren't we all, motherfucker? This week. My friend got beat up by a policeman, no less. Yeah, you put those pieces yeah. together. I don't know if this cop was crazy or drunk or what. Why are you always waiting. blaming drunk? Fucking moron. <laughs> Sounds like this guy. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> moron. <laughs> yeah, don't be telling it yourself, Tony. I'm, I'm sorry, this is... Hey. Very unprofessional. No, you had, it's all right. You had your wits get out of you. They, um, I mean, therapists will share a little bit with you. Like a little slice. Like, you know, say you are you have a 45-minute session. They may share two minutes with you. They do it to establish a bond. So what she's talking about here may have been a little unprofessional, but what, it's not like she made it out to be, you know. Give it another chance. Got a lot of good ideas here. Yeah, he does, boy. I mean, he would have handled that Tony uh, Jr. situation way different without her, so that's good for him. Smart. Very smart. Yeah, and now you've got Bloomfield and the union chair. <laughs> well, otherwise you'd fuck me, Larry, but you wouldn't respect me in the morning, would you? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, that's very disturbing, sir. <laughs> <old friend of mine. laughs> yeah, yeah, we know. You don't have to be smug, you fucking bitch. <laughs> yeah, that was a good one. That was a good one. Um, I do. I I think it's very in, interesting with the writing. Like they, 
they had to show he was getting something out of the therapy. You know, I think that's that's very good. Like, I like how they did that. Because otherwise, we'd start to question at some point, you know, because therapy's tough. And, and a guy like him, a person in the mob, everything, every relationship is transactional. You know, it's kind of like uh, the Sons of Anarchy brought that up in season one or season two, I think. Like, when every single relationship is transactional, you're either up or you're down. You know, if they hurt you a little bit, you got to hurt them back. You know, they do you a favor, you got to do them for everything's transactional. So he would feel that way about therapy. He would have to feel like he's getting something other than just the well-being of like, hey, I can cope with life better. That's enough, right, for most of us. Somebody like him, he's got to feel more transactional. I like how they did that. 